Welcome to our lecture online. We're now ready to use our final method to solve a quadratic equation, which is called the quadratic formula. So there's a difference between the term quadratic equation and quadratic formula. Now, in previous videos, we saw how the quadratic formula was derived. It was derived by using the general case of using the completing the square method. So starting with a general form of the equation, notice when we went through the following seven steps, we ended up with the quadratic formula. So all we have to do is plug in A, B, and C into the formula, and we get the solutions to our quadratic equation. So here's the quadratic equation we're going to use and use the quadratic formula to solve it. So first what we need to do is identify what A, B, and C are equal to. So in this case, A is equal to 1, B is equal to negative 2, and c is equal to negative 8. And we're going to take those three numbers and plug them into our quadratic formula. So that x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, all divided by 2a. And it's a really good idea that you memorize that formula. So now let's plug in the numbers that we have for our particular example. So x is equal to minus b, since b is a negative 2, that's a minus times a minus 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is negative 2 quantity squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, and times c, which is a negative 8, all divided by 2 times a, which is 1. And now all we have to do is simplify that. So x is equal to minus times a minus, which is plus 2, plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared, which is 4, minus times a minus is plus, 4 times 8 is 32, so plus 32, all divided by 2. So we continue to simplify that. x is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 36, divided by 2, and of course the square root of 36 is equal to 6, so we get 2 plus or minus 6 over 2, which means that we have two possibilities. We have x is equal to 2 plus 6, which is 8 divided by 2, which is 4, or 2 minus 6, which is minus 4 divided by 2, which is minus 2. x equals minus 2. So those are the two solutions to our original quadratic equation. Notice the quadratic formula is quite easily utilized and easily used. All we have to do is remember the equation correctly and then identifying A, B, and C in our original equation, the equation that was given to us, plug those in and then crank, make sure we don't make any arithmetic mistakes and out pops the answer. And that is how it's done.